Hi everyone, in this video we are going to speak to the use of the SMART CRM, which is your second option down on the left hand side of your dashboard, and the filters of which you have to put into effect to get different views of the different types of contacts that may be in your database. Now when this loads up, you just click on filter here, and if you look just to the right, you'll also see I have an example of credit repair list. So what's really neat about these filters is you can actually build regularly used filters, such as maybe a credit repair list or specific targeting of which you have in mind, and come back to it again and again and not have to rebuild it every time. So you can save that predetermined list and click it on up anytime you need to access that particular piece of information. So if I click credit repair list right now, maybe every 6th, 7th Wednesday I call to check in on my credit repair people or something, you know, then I'll have my list ready to go. And I have the ability to then click them all and send them an email, a mass text. Uh, you know, I could go into this list via my dialer on my mobile device and call them as well. So there's all sorts of ways of which you can send out communication with these particular smart CRM filters. And that also includes the scheduled mass email. So you can leverage this information in a few places on your dash. Now, right now, I'm going to go ahead and clear my filter. So we're going to start back at square one. So we're no longer looking at the credit repair list. And I'm going to show you how to build a filter. So you're going to click the filter button just right underneath the Smart CRM. And you can either go in here to a saved filter, or of course you can use the one that's out here before you jump into the filter. But once you are here, you can actually start creating a filter so maybe I want to see all of my new and active leads and if I was an admin or part of a team I might want to choose the assigned agent lender contact owner there's options here I'm going to jump into lead details and maybe I want to see all of my new and active leads that are buyers but of course I could choose as many of these combination that I wanted I can go into rating and choose the data validation return of which came back with that person's information they provided. So do I want three or better, four or better, you know, uh, of course being closer to five, five being the best type of result. I can then option to look for specific hashtag groups. I can then look at my lead sources. Maybe I want to see everyone that was a new and active buyer that came in via a link for millions mapped or via my office website or manually added. You know, you can go through and choose the type of, of a lead that landed. And then you can also say, well, I also want to add in the filter that they have that phone number. What's also neat here is if you have a specific amount of time of which you check people through seven days, 30 days, this week, last week, etc., you could say in the last seven days, I want to see all of the new and active leads that came in that are buyers. That have a phone. So you can add in these criteria. And last but not least, we can jump into property and behavior interest. So within behavior, this is where you can say, I also want to add in a level of maybe they do or do not have alerts set up. Maybe they do or do not have market reports. Maybe they do not have a smart campaign running yet. Have they opted in or have they not opted in or they opted out for evaluation? Uh, how have they responded to me? Have they saved a property or they, when were they last active? So you could also look and say, well, I want to see people who are last active in the, you know, in the last seven days, 30 days, et cetera. So you can build in all of these different combinations of information. And last but not least, we have property interests. This is where you can drop in that price range, location, bed, and bath. All right, now when we're ready to start saving this filter, we need to think of a name, and then we're going to click Save Filter. And this is where we name it on this little pop-up. And we click Save New Filter. And you can see it did not land over here yet as something next to our credit repair list, but here is the list of which it activated. Now, if I clear these filters and go back into my filter list, I can then click this little cog. And this is where I can toggle what do I want to have as a quick link 
on my Smart CRM. So do I want to have all three of these? Just the two? And then when I click Save, you can see it updated and added in that additional filter. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.